How about you guys? I lost my house. You lost your house? Wow. And you lost, did you lose like, everything? All your... Yeah. Some heart-wrenching stories today from children who survived last November's campfire, speaking directly to Governor Newsom about losing their homes. Yeah. Right after I got my own bedroom, the fire happened. Just after you got your own Like room. two days after. What's going on, buddy? Newsom told the kids he's freeing up millions of dollars in emergency funds to Butte County to offset the tremendous destruction here, including the loss of property tax revenue. But so many families here are still homeless after the fire. People like Christine Boykin of Megalia, who's now living with her mother-in-law. The kids and I share a bedroom, and then there's uh, my niece is there, and her boyfriend, and there's a million animals. <laughs> In this burned-out landscape, many people here are flustered with the mountains of debris left behind. What's going on is a lot of them are having to make decisions based on what they see as a slow pace of removal and cleanup. And so every day, I think the future town of Paradise is dropping in population. Some have had to move many times, only to return, like seventh grader Alina Ringio. We went to Butte Meadows for the first couple days. Then I, we went to Chico for two months, and then um, I went to Concord in Utah. Many survivors here told us they're concerned about the war of words on Twitter between Governor Newsom and President Trump. Is there any danger of any of that backfiring as far as uh, some of the money coming back to California for FEMA or for other purposes? I actually have a good working relationship with the president, and, uh, and uh, I think we all need to rise above petty politics when it comes to disaster relief. Politics aside, it will take many weeks, if not months, for the cleanup process to begin here before survivors can even think about rebuilding. In Megalia, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News.